Paul Dyken here talking about three minute outcomes. What I want to talk to you about today is the idea of an outcomes model. The underlying logic or structure of how we think we're going to achieve outcomes in any project, program, organization, or any type of intervention. Underlying any intervention, there's a claim about if we do something, if we do some stuff in the world, that will lead to something else happening which is desirable, typically described as an outcome, sometimes as a result or an objective, etc. The great thing about visually presenting these and these things we call outcomes models is that it enables you to very quickly observe whether or not there is a logical connection between the different steps in the process. It's much more powerful than the way people often approach this question of spelling out the logic of your program at the moment. What people might do at the moment is they, there might be a couple of PowerPoints with maybe some bullet points or maybe even a very, very simplistic model. And then there'll be a lot of detailed documentation about what they're planning to do in a program and the logic of how they think it will work. A well-constructed visual outcomes model enables you to actually articulate those steps in a way which can easily be reviewed by others. Uh, and it kind of invites people to critique your argument about your model. Now these things go by different names. We've got they're called program logics, theories of change, uh, intervention logic, results roadmaps, um, results chains. There's a, a strategy maps. There's a whole range of different terms for describing these visual models, and there are uh, some different ways in which they're set out. But the, the basic underlying principle is that if you've got one of these, you can articulate very quickly what it is you're planning to do in a program, and then you can get on to planning to do that program, have it peer reviewed, etc., etc. The, the notion of an outcomes model is both a practical tool, but within outcomes theory that I talked about in our three minute outcomes of number one, within outcomes theory, the idea of an outcomes model is a, a very powerful conceptual um, tool that we use to talk about different levels within the program running for, say from outputs through to outcomes and in, a, in our next uh, um, three minute outcomes I'll be talking about the difference between an output which is at the lower end of an outcomes model and um, an outcome which is, tends to be at the top or will be at the top end of an outcomes model. If you want all uh, any more information uh, about outcomes models, just go to the URL I've got here. Um, and if you want to see any other three-minute outcomes in the series, uh, just check out this URL. Thank you very much.